we check the charging system on this thing. When we put it together the other day, I checked it. It was 15, over 15 volts, like 15.3, which is way too much. Uh, I cleaned the ground on it. Uh, behind the regulator with a sort of chow powder coated on the frame. Uh, just double checking it now after cleaning it. Uh, we'll let it warm up. Sitting at 1427, idling 1426. So that's pretty good right there. It goes up to uh, like 0.01 volts. It cuts off. What you're going to look for is when uh, it's going to go up to a number, say 1430. And if you keep revving it, it might go to 1431, then it'll kick back to 1429 to 1430. That's your high point. It's when it just kicks back, you're looking for the... Uh, for the regulator part, it actually kicks the voltage off and kick out. Uh, so we're, we're pretty, this thing's charging pretty good, it ain't overcharging. See how it kicks down to like 1425? I think that thing's working good. Okay, you're going to want to uh, make sure your regulator's got a really good ground. I think I said that before. Uh, if you want to add external ground, you, there's a little lug on the back of the regulator with a tapped hole in it. You can stick a wire in there and you take that wire and run it directly to the battery ground here. You just run it down the frame there and up the back side here and attach it or, or any really good ground. Uh, hooking it up to the batteries a little bit better unless you're one of them guys that's got 15 wires hanging off of your damn battery. Don't do not do that. You know, pick another point. You're asking for trouble having all them wires hooked up to your battery. Uh, one or two is okay, but, you know, any more than that, you're, you're asking for all kinds of problems. So that's all you're looking for. You know, do it with your high beams on. Uh, if you want to test the load on the bike, you know, put your high beams on, hit the brake light, turn the turn signals on, just see what it dips down to. So any, anywhere, the range on most stuff is anywhere from 14 to 14.7 volts is what you want it running. So it shouldn't go over like 14.7, and you know, it depends on your meter. You know, all meters are a little bit different. Point is, what you want to look for is when it goes up, that it actually kick where it kicks off at. So, you, you know, I could try this with another meter, and it might say 14.35 or 14.40 or whatever. As long as you watch it when it hits whatever high number it is and then kicks back. It's a little bit easier on an analog meter because you can actually watch the needle swing back, dip when it hits. But, you know, who's got analog meters anymore? Nobody. I think I still got one that I use rarely, but it still works. So we're sitting pretty good. I had to take this battery out of the other bike because that other battery is newer, but it's got a newer date code on it, but it's, it's fried. Uh, overcharging, it'll it'll basically kick, cook your battery. It overheats the battery, uh, usually due to a bad ground from the regulator body, because the regulator shunts the excess through ground. And if it ain't got a good ground, it can't shunt it. If you're, uh, <clears throat> you know, if you're checking your grounds on that stuff, just because your meter says that it has a ground, that, that that doesn't mean it has really good ground. 
it could have one little one little contact point of ground which isn't really enough and it's saying that that's good enough or that according to your meter that's good enough you know you want to use a pretty pretty heavy damn wire Re really good contact where the regulator or regulator ground is mounted to the body there you know just like an old car or old truck uh, old tractor you need a pretty substantial damn ground cable <clears throat> bigger cap cable passes more current through it smaller cable doesn't F fairly simple concept anyway that's that's checking the regulator we're all good for that now I get to deck with the carburetor on this thing all right, if you guys like my content, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff, and have a great day.